Welcome back friends. Today I'm using a new deck that I've really been enjoying with Necromancer. It's pretty trollish, but I've really been enjoying it in PvP after the reset happened. So we're gonna go ahead and join a PvP match real quick and see how it goes. Bug. And uh, I love this deck, especially playing with Necromancer, because when you put these care, you know, whatever character you're using, whether it's a um, a Boreas or whatever you want to call it, the kill rate is at five percent once he gets you have the hero at level five. And it looks like this guy doesn't want to play. Yeah, that was short lived. Interesting. Okay, let's give that another shot. Um, looks like we got a reward, but let's do... Oh, I reached an early. So now let's go ahead and do another PvP. Alright, so... Gunter. Sounds almost like ground. Sounds pretty close. Okay. So as you guys may, uh, may have noticed, I have created a new overlay. And I hope you guys like it. It has a little bit of more information that normally gets asked, and uh, now you can actually see it for yourself. Um, I included the clan information, social media, and account stats on the bottom left. And um, I'm going to be using this from now on for all YouTube videos and when I stream on Twitch, which brings me to... I am streaming on Twitch now. The link is provided on the right-hand side. It is also provided in the comments section if it's easier for you to click on. So go ahead and do that. Hit that follow button so you are notified when I do um, go live on Twitch. But getting back to the deck, this deck is pretty fun. It seems like we're hitting a lot of Shaman decks since the wipe. And... It can be pretty annoying, but I've noticed that a lot of people too, they, they, they don't even try. They literally quit and they throw that white flag like the last match and it's pretty annoying. Initially, it takes a little bit to get going with this deck, but once you get a few things uh, sorted out, it's pretty good. Especially the hunters with the talents I have on right now. They basically upgrade themselves so to, I try to avoid merging them or if I do it's just pointless they're gonna be upgraded I try to put the hunters on the grids that give the 5% kill rate increase because hunters are notorious to be amazing in those squares but obviously, it's all about RNG. So once I have a hunter in there, I just let them upgrade by themselves if I'm able to. Um, this guy's using Shaman, so it becomes a little more difficult. But nothing we can't overcome. So so far, we've been, been doing pretty well with it. Yeah, that was a good merge. Definitely a good merge. And also, we recently got an open slot in our clan. We are normally the number one ranked clan in the world for the game. So if you're interested in joining us, go ahead and check out the Discord link on the right hand side on the bottom. And uh, you can apply within. And if you aren't able to make the first clan, we have a second clan that we're working on. We have like 40 something players in there. And we encourage anyone to apply or, you know, if you don't, even if you don't want to join the clan, you're more than welcome to just come hang out. There's always activities or tournaments going on. But this annoying, this, this deck is definitely annoying. Uh, I love it. It's so trollish. Obviously, I don't have Shaman. I'm not as trollish as them. But, you know, when the shotguns go off, it is annoying for him. And it looks like it's ending right here for him. So, got to give him that GG. This guy had quite a bit of crit too, I think, when I saw in the beginning. Yeah, so he didn't have the greatest gear, but... So this this will end the video right here. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. And we'll see you guys soon.
Take care, guys.